Okay, and we are now live. Um, whoever has control of the IRC and whatnot, let everybody know. Because I'm sure this is going All to right. be... I'm sure it's, it's just going to be... I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is it's probably just going to be me and the podcast crew doing this. But I'll upload it to YouTube later for all of you who aren't watching this right now. No, not YouTube. Yes, YouTube. So yeah, this is Gunscape. As you can see, it is billing itself as an FPS construction kit. And that is pretty much exactly what it is. Um, it It's basically a retro style FPS game with a bunch of different theme sets based on popular games, FPS games, uh, notably classics such as Quake and I think Wolfenstein and newer games like Team Fortress 2 and Bioshock. So yeah, basically it's just, you can just mash a bunch of different um, tile sets together, make a big old map, or you can try to and keep it um, all appropriately themed. Hey, Argent. And oh, yeah, so it's just this big mess of a construction kit. And it has a, a Minecraft-style level editor, and it is incredibly, incredibly simple to use. It's a pretty cool game, so I, I thought I would show that off. So I'm going to actually host a game here under shoot mode. There's two modes. Uh, shoot and I think, let me see what the other one is, craft mode. And shoot mode is the actual game mode. Both of them support multiplayer, so if you want to make maps with your friends, you totally can. Now, where's the level I made? There it is, rails and rockets. There isn't going to be a password on this. Oh. We better watch out for Madrid. Yes, I know, but we'll crank up the players to 12. Oh, I think... Does it only Wait, go up what? to 8? Can I type in a number? No, it just goes up to 8. Okay. No passwords. Uh, I'm just going to give it a dumb name like Frag Knight because I'm totally a dummy. Okay, so... Right. Multiplayer. Let's get this game hosted. And sorry about the... I don't know how well this will much. run, but no, it's okay. Wait, how did you already join, Doc? I don't know. Shooting mode. Don't get water on my drawing tablet. That's not a so good So yes, idea. this level that you're seeing right now, I actually made in the editor. Very quick three-ish. Yes, that was the idea. And there's nothing but railguns and rockets in this map. Uh, this, okay. is a, this is a uh, pre-alpha build. It's not quite finished yet. So, it's missing some things, but otherwise it seems to be feature complete, like... Space Gamer? Who the hell is Space Gamer? It uh, has Fleur Bleu. I don't know. Fleur Bleu. Yeah, that's Fleur Bleu. Yeah, it's got some great voiceovers. <laughs> I'm probably going to do terribly at this, because I'm streaming. So I will probably be in... Oh, damn you. <laughs> You're going to see this happen a lot in this map, is just me exploding. Because, like, the it's just rockets and oh, frickin' railguns. Aw. I got my revenge. Seems that the Kickstarter is currently at 3,592, but it's got quite a way to go. It needs to reach 27,500 in 27 days' time from now. It could get there, hopefully. Yep. I hope so. I, I, I'm hoping so. Someone, I'm hoping something like Rock, Paper, Shotgun will pick up on it and be like, hey, this is actually kind of cool. We should probably be talking about this, like, right now. Yeah. This needs That's a bit more attention than this game, really. It's kind of disappointing, though, that, like, it's, it's had such a tepid response, given it already has a demo. It's pretty much yeah. ready to be played. Well, I imagine it's if really it's Kickstarter happen. fails, it'll get up there one way or another if they've already sunk this much development into it already. Hey, Bob, actually, can Is you man the Twitter real quick? I yeah, want you to you direct mean? the message at the people who made this, at Blowfish, I think it should be. Or try to figure out who that is. And just say, hey, we're playing a game right now, so if you want to join us, you know, yeah. look for uh, GC9X Frag Match or Frag Night or whatever. Assuming there's Good publicity. people. Well, I, I you know... I found them. Okay. Seems like they put a fair deal of attention. So to yeah, just do it in ref in reference to them, so that they know. Also, I would post again on um, what you call it, the Zedoom about this, because I did make a thread on there too. Oh, I can I can take care of that. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, what do you want me to tell them exactly? Um, you guys can. Kill game me. is now live. Join us at, at GC9X Frag Night <laughs> inside Gunscape or something like that. Just something goofy. Just, just have it, just, you don't even have to say, uh, hey, Blowfish guys, we're doing this, just, it's just so that it appears on their Twitter, I think, if you, s generally speaking, or it gets their attention so they can repost it. 
Oh crap. I cannot currently see the um the chat for the um whatchamacallit. The live stream, so I don't know if anybody's commented in there. Oh dang it. Uh, what's the name of the server again? GC nine X Frag Knight or something like that. Actually wait, does did it say the name of the server in no it does not. I will deliver death post in the did you post about this in the thread on so you do, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, so just to add to that and say, hey, the game's live, we've got the stream going, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I killed two people with one rocket. I know. One of whom was AFK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys shouldn't be AFK in this map because you're just going to die horribly. Away from live. But yeah, I'll try to show off some of the other maps people have made, too. This is just a quick map I made. It probably took a couple hours. All right. Post it, hopefully. I'm almost sorry to make this reference, but if you should kill someone Shit. while they're AFK, do you get the Llama Award? Wait, a uh, language <laughs> ride. I should have said that. Uh, that was a bit of an inside baseball comment for even me to make. What, Llama? Yeah, I'm not sure how many of viewers would be... Well, I'm sure Familiar you, well, with you guys know how Skull Tag works, but I don't know who else is watching this. Well, yeah, Skulltag was this, um, was, I should say, multiplayer, um, port of Doom. And it Laggy added, Blasco. Uh, it added a <laughs> bunch of, um, oh god, it added a crap ton of, um, like, metals. And it was supposed to be kind of like the, like, Doom's answer to Quake 3 Arena, stuff like that. So, it had metals. The medals were actually kind of achievements before achievements were a thing. Like, this was like 1999, of all things, as well. And you'd get awarded for doing, like, really cool things in a match. I'm a hey, nice there's a... Well, I mean, there's technically, a... Quake 3 had the same thing, because it would actually save how many of those you had per That's match true! It did, didn't it? Actually, yeah, there's a question for you. What was the first game to ever have something resembling achievements? That's a good question. That is a very good question. I do. Damn it, Arjun! You're not supposed to stand on top of the things. See. That gives you too much of an advantage. I they probably exist for a while. We just don't know which one. I'm gonna punch you in the crotch. <laughs> no, not my crotch. <laughs> oh God! Now I love how my voice cracks on cue. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my crotch. Oh damn it, Doc! You were just waiting. I thought you were AFK, but no, you were just wait. Oh, you! Oh, you just <laughs> murdered my craft. I'm still in second place though, but Arjun is like way in the lead. Like, what the hell, man? What are you doing? What did you eat for breakfast today? Did you eat your Wheaties? Yes. Oh, you bastard. So yeah, you could be playing this game right now and having fun, and you know what else you could be doing is also funding it because seriously, it would be very sad if this didn't make it. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool to pitch in a, a handful of dollars. And keep in mind, it's Australian dollars, so if you're in the United States, that's ever so slightly cheaper for you. Like, hey. I think there's a tier that's like 40 Is there bucks. Is like, send a news request to PC Gamer or something? No, you'd have to, like, email it to, like, you can email it to Rock Paper Shotgun, probably, and they might take a look at it, assuming someone already hasn't done that. They're kind of weird about stuff, though. Sometimes. Ronald! Well, hey, The Chosen! I will I will definitely nice. check a couple of my indie game sites and see if they've posted about them yet. Yeah. Because if not, I'll, I'd be more than happy to clue them into this. this. You know, this is the first time I've ever actually found something like this without having somebody else tell me about it. It require boo-making implements, not laser-making implements. I'll check and see if I could say anything. Oh, dang it, Chosen. Rock, paper, stuck and really torn the Lords of Shadow too, but this is neither the time nor place to discuss it, so... I don't get what people's deal with that game is. If it sucks, it sucks. But, you know, at this point, it's really passe to say, oh, it's not Castlevania, because let's face it, Shadow or uh, Symphony of the Night eh. really wasn't... Yeah, Symphony of the Night wasn't Castlevania yeah. either. <laughs> but even on its own merits, it sounds like there's a fair deal that's rather... Uh, blase with... It. Of course, I haven't played it, so I should really reserve Ultimate. Oh, Argent. It on sale. Oh. Screen caps. <laughs> Upload that sucker to Steam. Oh crap! I saw someone started on the same platform I did. <laughs> gotcha! First blood! <laughs> hey strong man, I got first blood! 
Uh, oh, I fell into a pit and died. That's wonderful. I don't know if suicides actually take away from your score. They don't. I don't think so. Oh, okay. it, it looks like it counts kills and deaths separately, so... That's kind of cool. Hmm. Come on, be a fair poncho. Put up your dukes. I believe there's an unspoken civil rule in the chivalry medieval warfare where if you uh, just move to your fists, then there's a good chance your opponent might engage you in fisticuffs also. Of course, it could be a totally unceremonious battle. Oh, wow, pass. we've actually got nine in here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, huh, I wonder how that works. It says that eight players was the limit. Hopefully this will not destroy my stream, like, the connection won't just die. I don't know how hosting works. I think it's peer-to-peer, peer -peer, though, actually. So I'm not technically the host. Actually, I think you're right, yeah, because I remember the last time uh, when you dropped out of the server, it was still running, so... I think as long as there's somebody there to maintain the, the server, it stays open. Which is kind of cool, actually. Oh, dang it, Vordu. I don't even know who you are. I was is going... Everdred showed up yet? Everdred? No, thankfully he has not. There's this guy in here called Everdred, and I believe it's the same Everdred from Something Awful, and he is just way too good at this game. Like, he should be forbidden from playing this game. He has, like, the forbidden <laughs> chaos dunk of, like, Gunscape or whatever. Banned in China. So he's the Daigo Umehara. Banned! Yeah, probably. Wait, is Daigo actually banned from China? I have no idea why I said banned from China. It was just a trope that popped in my brain. Um, but... I don't know. I, I don't know if he can get banned from a community from doing too good at something that makes everyone else look terrible. I think you can, technically, but... They can't necessarily ban you for being good, but they can accuse you of hacking. Yeah, at the least. Lead hacks and all that. Or, or like what's happened to me, they can they can ban you for using... for not using tactical crouch. <laughs> Dolphin dives. Oh. Is this some sort of MOBA trick? No, it's... Uh, the first server that I joined when I first bought Call of Duty Black Ops, they kicked me off of the server because I... Because I had, uh, I wasn't using crouch right apparently. And yeah, there's certain also... instances where you can only use crouch. There's people who have like really ridiculously specific rules oh, on how and you have also, to play. One of the default perks that your character class has is second chance, which is the one where you pop up with your pistol and you can shoot guys be before you actually die. <laughs> and apparently that's disallowed too. Then what happens if you pick that perk? Are you just disallowed. can you just sit there and not do anything, or do they just I... kick you? I guess. I don't know. I, I didn't try to rejoin that server, though. <laughs> that was probably for the best. I'm like, whatever. You oh, know what? dang it, Chosen. I'm going to play with people who want to have fun, not people who, who are like, you know, fuck <laughs> Final Destination. No items. Stop yeah, having those, fun, you guys. the worst. Yeah, I mean, I've never got... Well, I've never really paid those guys much mind, honestly. I mean, if this stuff's in the game, then obviously the developers intended me to use it. You don't just throw in features because the developers don't want using it. Exactly. Mm. Well, you mean like the easy skill mode and in the original XCOM? <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 I yeah, man, it's legit, it's legit. I, I have a sort of devil's advocate question to ask. Are there any house rules in certain games that you prefer be enforced? I think Jedi Knight had some interesting ones, like bowing to initiate a private duel. That was kind of cool. I've never heard of that one. Although I know in... Um... Or maybe it was Jedi Outcast, Outcast actually. One of them, one of them actually added it as a as a feature where you could you could engage someone in a private duel and it would put like a little force field around you. That was probably either arena. Oh no, I fell into a pit and died. I must obtain rocket launchers. So yes, I should reiterate, you should be on I the Kickstarter page launchers. right now, um, putting your money into this because I forget yeah, when. Just uh, give me your entire wallet. Give me your credit card number. Yes, exactly. Give I forget when. I think different kids, tiers give you access to different things at different says. times. Yes. Like I think that, one of the tiers time. gives you very early um, access to uh, what you call it? To this. Bad Tifu. potato. Bad. Who are all half these people? I've never heard of you people before. And you're Tifu. all here. This is cool. Yeah, I know. Maybe they actually got the. Maybe they actually saw the Twitter thing. That could be. Hey, you know, we've, we've got fans that we've never met before. So. That is very true. Well, wait, I should Hello. say you guys have fans we've never met before because nobody's a fan of me. I don't think anyone's a fan of me. For anybody watching, me. I have an arbitrary plug not related to first-person shooters. The new Strider is a really freaking awesome game, and go get it. 
Sorry. Um, it, it would, I've heard it, good things. Uh, I am kind of interested. I admit it is a little bit short, maybe, for it being at $15, but I thought it was a hell of a ride, and I was immediately compelled to play through it a Wait, second it's only, time. It's so. only $15? What is? I'm Mr. Arjun, and people wonder whether or not I'm real. And oh god, I'm out of ammo. If this it's is not 15 good. for strike. I believe. Arjun, Arjun. Have you played Guacamelee, Sarbu uh, Stinga? Oh, oh yes, very much so. I've, uh, Would you say I've, it's uh, about on the same level? Or? Oh, dang it, Arjun. Yeah, I'd, I'd say roughly the same, if not even a little better. Because, huh, uh, okay. if not just for bosses, Killing which are a bit more numerous and more challenging. Sorry for off topic. No, talk uh, about no, whatever I, you guys I, want I, to. I meant. Oh, Joe's done. Oh, second. Damn. So, there, there is one problem with this. If I want to change the map, I technically have to host a completely new server. So, whenever you guys are want to change maps, let me know and I'll host a, this Frag Night 2 for people that still want to play on this map. Because it's, you know, if they want to keep playing on this map, it's fine. God, how many people are in this server? It's ridiculous. <laughs> wonder how many are on the dev team. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. If this is popular enough, I can do this like every Friday night until, you know, the Kickstarter winds down. I really hope that even if this doesn't get funded, they still make it. They're like, you know what, There's just this is just too good. Well, for some reason, the player list now shows two space gamers. Oh and yeah, that might be a glitch. Yeah, there's some issues with the uh, player list and the way it handles lives and such. Well, you know, I'm really surprised no one saw this before. Yeah. I think there have been attempts, Bob, but nothing that quite that quite really did what this so does. I will be right back here. When was Gary Kitchen's Game Maker? That produced? was the 80s. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, God. I do not look where this is going. No, don't punch me. Don't punch me. No. No. You lose. You <laughs> lose. So, yeah, you could actually be out there right now making maps for this game. I'll have yeah. to show off the map editor, actually, and even do a co-op map session with the guys in the call. Just so you can see how easy it is. You should show off, um, okay, Frank's Great Castle. Oh, yes, that'll be the next oh, map I guess. host. I am escaping from this platform. Yeah, you should do a serious match on that. I'd love to see that. The, yeah, Gary's Great Castle, or whatever it was. What the? Did I just spawn a void? Damn it. That was my launch hair. Rocket launch hair. Heavy machine gun. Oh no, I felt up it died. Damn it, Chosen, you are gun, too good at this game. First blood. First blood. And all of a sudden I'm doing average at best. Well, it's kind of weird. Sometimes you do good, sometimes you do not very good. It's just the law of averages, I guess. Oh, dang it. I wish Chosen was actually in the call of this right now, so I could so he could <laughs> laugh at me. Uh, does the Chosen have a Skype account? He does. I don't know if he's on. I didn't see him sign in. He might be invisible, or I don't know. Well, well, I, I think, think we got a lot more than eight right now. What'd you say? I think we well, got a lot more than eight right now. Yeah, in the I actual game. In the, I asked him on the IRC if he wanted into the Skype call. Oh, I is he actually on GC9X yeah. right now? Uh, no, but he's on HG101. Let him know about the GC9X channel. Ow. Oh yeah, that is I died in glory. Did you put it down to go to the bathroom? Okay, then then next time you need to tell him that you're putting it down to go to the bathroom. That way he doesn't pick it back up. So general question, what would anyone say is their favorite first person shooter released over the last five years, let's say? Mm, good Why? question. Never Probably Singularity. Years. That was a good one. That's a very good choice. I, that's certainly one I'd put up there as well. Oh, no. Anyone listening, get Singularity to honor the memory of Raven. Sorry. Maybe so, I will for me either Painkiller or Rise of the Triad 2013. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Rise of the Triad. I'll be honest it's with you. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Ultimately, I liked it, but um, it was a little Euro janky, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you just had a number of issues it probably shouldn't have had, I think. Well, 
Did they just have some of those? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, well, that's the thing, though. I still don't know if it if it runs any better than it did at launch. I'll have to reinstall it at some point, give it a fair shake. But I know they did improve quite a bit of the uh, the performance issues it was having before. Oh dang it, Argent! I mean, chosen. Uh, I don't know if they. Uh, it's okay. I avenged you. If they ever worked out the thing with the with the uh, level editor, though. What 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 thing was it? I just I was very disappointed with how they did the level editor, considering they said they were gonna have a like a retro style editor as well. And fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I can't get fooled twice. I'm free. Rise of the Triad error. You mean the push block here? The push block issue? Yep. Get over here. So Chosen logged on to Skype, so I assume he does, in fact, went into the call. I don't know if I have him on. He has two. He had two accounts. Well, he had one, and it stopped working. Arthur, two accounts, Jackson. Yeah, the one I have is just the chosen. So he has another one, and the newer one's like the chosen uh, Pumbloom, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that actually. <laughs> I think his avatar is um that guy from La the Labyrinth or whatever it is. David Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie's uh, magical. Crotch. His almighty goblin crotch grabbing action. At least I think. I I think I have seen that movie. I remember something about a damn elephant, and that's it. That movie was I, my shit when I was a little. Like, my sister and everyone had that playing all the time, so I was kind of... Okay, well, uh, Snarb, if you want to send him an invite, I can ring him. Uh, okay, I am going to or go AFK. Ah, okay, there, so... I made it easy for you. <laughs> oh, wait, this is in Steam, so I can't hit Shift-Tab. Okay, where is he? I, I actually have mine set up as a Steam shortcut now. <laughs> Just so so that should add that. him to the call. Okay, so I'll go ahead and... Him. And now a completely arbitrary comment. I nominate Twin Peaks Firewalk with me for most glorious waste of David Bowie. Yeah. I didn't even know <laughs> What's he was funny in is that. that the, uh, he was only in it for like less than yeah. a minute, X. Like, what's funny is that he was supposed to, or what's funny is that uh, Joffrey's was supposed to show up a lot more in the earlier drafts, but that got cut for time apparently, which sucks. Yeah, cause, a, you know. yeah a lot about the Twin Peaks movie really got Toss into the incinerator. It was some of the best parts that helped it to make oh, somewhat yeah. more sense too. Like it could have rivaled the series at its best if it. Speaking I mean, it wasn't a bad movie by itself. You can tell it definitely suffered from all the cuts. Snarbu or not Snarbu? Uh, well, Snarbu too. Satanga. Yo. Um, have you guys ever seen a movie called Toys with Robin Williams? Yes, I've seen it. Seen it. That movie. I it's a dark, surprisingly dark plot. Yes. It's kind of I a, it's a really I, dumb movie. I will say that. It's watchable, but dumb. Oh, man. I, hey, I didn't say it was bad. I just said it was dumb. And it okay. is. You have to admit, it is very it dumb. It is. It is dumb. Duck. But it's, it's good just dumb. Uh, you got me. You won. No, the reason, Ronald. the only reason I mention it oh, is because, uh, Duck, it's in the I face. Argent linked the, this thing called a body wrap. <laughs> Uh, yes, that was it. And I was telling, yeah, I was telling Argent that there's a scene in Toys where he wears something basically like that, but he's got his own weird custom sound effects rigged up to it. I still oh. want to find one of those someday. Just the body wrap. Oh no, not ever, Dread. <laughs> uh -huh. Isn't LL Cool J someone's uh, son in that film? Yeah, no, he's the uh, Dumbledore's son. Or sorry, new Dumbledore. Huh. Hey guys. Should I ask how Janae? I guess it's about for now, but I guess I'll sit back in later and listen to the podcast or something. Okay. All right. Hey, see you, dude. Catch you later. Hey, you. guys. Guess who just joined? Yeah, Everdread. Yeah, I know. We know. Everdread. Way Wake too up. good at this game. <laughs> just remember, Wake up. if this Pipe goes up on Pipe. YouTube and it gets taken down by something awful, we'll know why. No, it <laughs> won't. He's just really good at this game. I know. I'm we're not saying we're not like <laughs> disparaging their mothers or anything. So <laughs> to the torture room with you. You are greedy. Heck, that is one of the greatest trolls in all of you. Yeah, you get like too much gold, and then the game punishes you. Oh, chosen. So close. The chosen drops the mic. <laughs> 
Wow, how many people dedicated. are in here? Okay, I think I might host another yes. server. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait, I must. Damn it, I didn't feel blue. Yeah, well, that's all I get for trying to get full blow off an AFK person. Okay, shoot. New game. Uh, we will go with what was that map I wanted to show off? Oh, uh, where's that castle yeah. map? Crazy castle. Mark's epic <laughs> like castle. Mark, Mark epic castle. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, that was crystal. Castle. I think. Duke. Okay, it was Frag Knight, wasn't it? Because yeah, uh, Frag Knight too. Single play or yeah. multiplayer. I wonder if I'm going to start off by the BFG again. <laughs> This is a great map. You should play it in yeah. like right now. No. It's like oh. huge. Like it's like I think it's the biggest map made for this yet. Ooh. Very Minecrafty. Yes. Well, the the level editor is very Minecrafty, so. Darn it. I'll have to I mean, show that off at some point. The aesthetic of this one particularly looks like it would be from a uh, Minecraft or something about the sort of uh, medieval construction. Wow, this is actually slowing my computer or the game down a little bit. I'm getting really low frame rates. Oops. It seems um, like a level that would be in the realism mod. Oh, also. we do have doors. Oh my god. There are doors? Yeah. This is like... Really? Where? I don't see doors. Well, hmm, I have to find you. You yeah. know what might be slowing it down is the uh, skyboxes. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff though. This map's just gigantic. There oh, would be oh. some appropriate slow music to play. Something like. Uh... There you go, bye bye. Oh, ever dread. No. No. Don't shoot. Where did I go? Where do you go, or where did you go? Where did I go? I don't know. For some reason, <laughs> all I can think of is Bulk and Skulls theme. <laughs> oh, dang it! Well, at least I know where the BFG is. That's really, it's really easy to get to. Well, that's nice. Oh, no. Oh, no! I remember well, one of the, the first BFG. variant sites for, um, what is it, You're the Man Now Dog was, uh, one for Mr. Bill going, oh no. <laughs> oh no! Get your SMRs and all that. Get your SMRs. I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, there are doors! Well, hey, is that the only door that's available, out. I wonder? It's the only one I've seen. Hmm, weird. I wonder if other tile sets actually have doors. I just didn't realize it. Well, no, because Lucian didn't need the balloon up on the couch either. Although, you know what, Michaela, you take up more space than he does. The balloon? What is this you're talking about exactly? Huh? Oh, he's got a balloon. Balloon! Balloon! balloon. Red snapper. Very tasty. <sighs> I'm going to cheat, Saji. I'm going to cheat. No, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna chase all you. I Not love this so much. Oh. May not have been the best one, but I personally like it. I like it. how he's still in the lead, even though this map's gigantic and hard to navigate. It's like you can't even tell what's going on most of the time. Well, there's just, it's so big, like, it just, things explode, you die, like, there's you items all over the map. I can't make, I can't even make my fuck you space bus map, because I, this map has already stolen the idea. Did you just see me fall through the map? No, I didn't. Well, because he's ever dread, that's why. I couldn't tell you why he does what he does. <laughs> yes! Everdread CEO of Hawsoft. Oh, so I, I actually just things. got a kill like that. Uh, if I had an iota of map making talent, I would create a level that is a gigantic. Uh, naval ship that is being uh, poked through with several large tentacles and you can see uh, like a kraken's head off in the distance. You know, I would uh, call it, I'm going to uh, stop you right there, Satanga. That map sounds awesome, but I would swear for a second you said you were going to say gigantic penis. <laughs> well, I, I I'm afraid that that's the direction, direction I was going, going with. Uh, yeah, damn it, X, <laughs> where's that my mouth? 
I, <laughs> hey, whoa, I fell through the map there for a split second. That was interesting. You'll get, you'll get to see that on the stream. Oh. I was trying to go for the pun angle. I was trying to go... No, no, I was trying to go for a pun angle. I wasn't trying to go for the pervert angle. The pun in question is that I would name the level Nobody Told Me About Squid. <laughs> I could hear the silence for a whole second. <laughs> As a side note, that giant statue reminds me of Chip Callahan for some reason. I can't quite say why. Well. Uh, also, for those for which that bad joke went over their head, uh, Nobody Told Me About It is uh, one of the named tracks from the first Doom, the one that plays where you fight the cyber demon in the Tower of Battle. Yep. One of my favorite pieces of music from that game, too. And I... Uh, Wait, does Evergreen actually want to join us? Wow. That would be cool. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Oh, dude, he, he does. Oh, hey. yeah, invite him. Oh, lord. Who wants in now? Everdread. Mm. Also, I'm going to kill you, Argent. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoa, wait, wait, no. No, don't you dare go through that whole hall of uh, Nicholas Cage Hitler heads. <laughs> I should actually. I need to actually fly around and show that. Oh no! Not the no! The BFG. Gotcha. Here he comes. Uh, has anyone got ever tried? No. He'd That's have right. to tell us what it, his name is. Yeah, I imagine. So I imagine it. having uh, Everdread appears like having that, like, ghost guy, Baron Von. Okay, so his ghost. name is the same. Bubble. Contact. Let's see if I can find him here. Do 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 do. So what's with the sun bubble bobble? I was just saying that Everdread is like when Baron Von Beluga, the white, shows up. Oh, chosen. God. He could be in the call right now for all we know. Alright. Oh, there we go. That should get taken care of once I have him... Oops. Oh, so you didn't make it in. Oh, okay, so the call still comes. Oh, oh, oh man, that was pure luck. I was just firing it blind blindly. Yeah, Whoa, who well, did I spawn inside of? Get back here. Stupid, oh, no! Uh, can't be added until they accept your contact request. Uh, yeah. Skype broke. Wait. Hmm? What? What's going it on here? It won't let me add him to the call because he's not on my list. Oh, okay, he has to, yeah, accept you. But he's probably only going to accept Argent because he's the only person oh, that knows. Is. And oh. you should be able to get in now. Okay. 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 BFG. Yay. There we God, go. This whole virus is annoying. It, it is. Skype is. Okay, okay, you can hear me, right? Yes. Okay, let me try to figure out how to invert the talk push to talk button. Okay. I don't know if Skype has one actually. I think it's just um you have to mute your mic. So yeah. I have it set up. So uh, when you press a button. Ah. Oh. You know, it works, but it's inverted right now. I have no idea how to fix that. It's been so long since I've used this. Oh, god damn it. Seriously? <laughs> I made it all the way up to the top of that tower and then accidentally gotcha. jumped, little, Not gonna kill jumped, that guy. jumped pads on the side and flung me off the level. Yeah, I think that's the point. I think it's a trap. I don't think you're supposed to make it through there. Oh, I, wait. Whoa, whoa. I fell through the map somehow. Yeah, I did maybe this earlier. I thought maybe that's where the BFG was hiding or something, but... Oh, no, the right BFG's there. just all over the place. Like, it's not even hidden. Wait, Ed, uh, when you fell through the floor, were you in the, uh, Deadly Trampoline? Yeah, I was on the Deadly Trampoline. I yeah, think... that was where I fell through the floor, must be. I wonder so if it's, like, a hit detection issue, like, it's just way it, too yeah, much, it could just like... be a lag thing. Yeah, that too. And I'm gonna need to close out of Firefox, because I'm starting to lag a little. God, where am I? Oh, man, this is just ridiculous. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Whose idea was it to go to this map? It was my... Well, actually, it was all your guys' idea, because you kept egging me on. Oh, that's right. Who's, now, who is this character supposed to be? Like, this statue? Is it supposed to be the map author? Or is it a specific character he's referencing? I have to wonder. I don't know. I'd have to look at it. I have to ask you an honest question, Everdred. How are you so good at this game? Uh, I don't think I'm that good, to be honest. <laughs> you I always have the highest score in every map. Like, I put I'd put myself <laughs> slightly above average for first-person shooters, but 
I, I don't want to be mean. Uh. It's okay, you can say it. You're not good, we just all suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't say it, but I'll let you, your words speak for yourself, I guess. I don't know, I mean, I think I think this game is uh, one of the tenets is you should always be jumping. So, like, constant movement to prevent other people from aiming well is a really good thing. Then just nice aim, like, being able to ascertain the uh, how a person is jumping, especially on jump pads, to be able to snipe them effectively. So it's sort of like being able to detect where their movement is going. I uh, I just got disintegrated. Oh, oh, my face was left I just behind. keep. I just. <laughs> yeah, this happened to me too. I think it's because the face is separately rendered from everything. Because that's one of the Kickstarter rewards is get your face on a model. So they probably have to do yeah, it like that. Floating quake guy face. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't pitch in quite that high because I don't have that much money on me. But uh, yeah, I I, I did go for the uh, for the all themes forever. Or, or was it all Avatar? I don't remember. It was like the like the third tier. And I self-destructed. That's one. wonderful. That's you know, I should donate that. something instead of getting that early 90s bag phone I was looking at. Hmm? Wait, someone was asking a question? Oh, um, I just want to know how many uh, weapons there are currently are in this build. Uh, nine, I think. There's four from the Bioshock set, four from the Quake set, and then you have your fists. <laughs> Good deal. I'm not sure why the the Bioshock set has the chainsaw. I guess one of them had to, because they already had like a classic id shooter in the form of Quake, Quake tile set, so they couldn't do like yeah. Quake and Doom. Well, no, wait, they did Quake and Wolfenstein, so... There's not a chainsaw plasmid in any of the games, is there? No, there isn't. I wish. There's a drill in the second one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I haven't played past the first yet, unfortunately. I feel like I should have by now. Second gets a lot of hate, but the um, the gameplay mechanics, I think they improved. Uh, yeah, it yeah, plays it way the better. Itself is good. It's just that the story took a hit, but, you know, take that for what it is. Yeah, I mean, how impressed were you by the story in Bioshock 1? And it's like, do you like a twist? Do you, you know, did that blow you away? Then you, like... Yeah. Um, it's been a really long time since I played Bioshock, actually. I did think that... The, like many, that the story is entertaining, but you know, after the twist, um, it, while it did, while while it did feel like it lost a bit of its uh, piss, so to speak, I didn't hate it after the uh, big uh, bomb uh, dropped and uh, you know, big bass playing you for a chump, and then you go on escort missions and etc. But like, put it this way, it, this is my general opinion of it. I thought it was at least a better twist than the one in Quake Four. <laughs> yeah, because they spoiled it in all the reviews. Like, how is that a twist yeah. when everybody knows what's going to happen? Like, well, it's quite cool. Were... Is that you becoming a Strog? Yeah, for yeah. like a couple maps, I think. It was basically the whole second half of the game. You got some enhanced powers, I think, for it, though. Everdread am good at fight. Yes, he is. Half that think... battle, I was doing Skype, you realize. <laughs> I think they oh. basically give you, like... Why did we all spawn in the same oh, block? Maybe like, uh, it's weird. This this map probably has like twenty or thirty like spawn points, and like half the time you'll spawn inside somebody. Oh, they need to do force also, spawning or whatever it is for the spawns. Hey, can also, you force uh, rotation on them? No, hey, you know I don't know if you can hit a change rotation on the spawns. I've never bothered with that actually. I don't think that'd you... probably be the simplest way to make sure people are varied as much as possible. Yeah. I'll have to check and see if there's a way to to rotate tiles. I don't think there is yet, though. No, there is actually. You hit the R button. Really? Yeah, because oh, uh, most t most tiles actually, in some instances, actually have slightly different floor textures, or the floor texture can actually be rotated. Sometimes the yeah, wall. The, um, oh. the multiplayer spawner has an arrow that yeah. you can rotate around. Oh, I didn't know okay. that. So, huh? I'll have to try that. Yeah, that'll be useful for the whole gun cargo thing I'm working on. <laughs> Definitely. Actually, I think I have that map. Actually, wait, I don't know if I do. Have you published it yet, Argent? I can publish it really quickly if you guys want to see the work in progress of gun cargo, but I'm going to want to throw in some spawns and all that first. Or we can actually work on it, too. That would be nice to do, is show off the uh, yeah, co-op map co editor. Yeah. yeah. Just leave it open. I can up a server. Actually, we'll have to put a building. password on it just in case, but yeah. no biggie. Because I'm sure <laughs> you don't want really a puppy coming in. Trolls or something. Well, there probably aren't that many trolls in this. It's just I understand if Arjit, you know, like he's yeah, been I'll working on this map I mean, for I'll ages. I'll take a chance on this. In the worst case scenario, I can just work from a backup or something if things go south. 
Yeah, make sure you keep a backup. Is there a way, a simple way to make a backup, or is it pretty much you uh, just back up your folder at this point? I think it's I'm backing really up sure. the folder if I had to guess. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I just usually I mean, you can always just not save, this. too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I should probably be a nice guy here. Uh, hello, Mr. Everdread. Uh, I'm Satenga. You don't know who I am, but I'm uh, somehow associated by the guys by proxy, and I'm not playing in the uh, current match, but I am at least observing it through uh, Snardu's live stream, and it looks really awesome. fun. Yeah, I'm actually live streaming this for um, a podcast we do, so... Yeah, I got a link to that, and I was like, oh, I'll come and play and kill people. <laughs> That's what we're all about. I wonder who said that. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, thanks for uh, linking me, Arjun. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love this big balancing room. I really think there should just be a map that's that. And uh, X, since you had that idea, I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. No, just make it a big I bounce map. I can't do the background music like I wanted to do, so... No, well, yeah, you can't do custom music. That might be something for the full release, but I still think you should do it. There's probably a song in there that's at least close enough to what you want. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> not. I don't know. What do you want, the Sonic uh, Sonic and Knuckles gumball machine music? <laughs> the bouncer room? Actually, that'd be pretty pretty oddly appropriate, but... Yeah. No, I'll have to, I'll have to look at the, the original map on Doom again and see what, what music they had set up for it, because it was something really terrible. Wait, I just thought Sonic Spinball up. Options music. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Merry Go Bye Bye by Mr. Bungle. Uh, Merry Go Round Broke Down. That's some of the worst video Let's game go. music ever that anyone oh, God. Would Something I, I, I killed Snarbu. What? Whoa. What? Something? I think I'm stuck in the level geometry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that Do happened to me. Just keep wiggling around. You'll get out eventually. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot Something of pink explosions. Snarbu. How's it? Well, it, okay, if it, oh wow, I just fell through the map again. Now I'm in this area. Which is actually kind of cool, I kind of like how the skybox effects work. I hopefully they'll do more of those, like, different for different tile sets. Yeah, I'm thinking this might have been some kind of engine stress taps, test map or something. Well, yeah, uh, I don't know who made this map, I assume it's just someone just doing a random map, but... Oh. Yeah, probably got real guns, didn't this was Castle, was it? It's Eric's Epic Castle or something like that, or Mark's or something. I don't remember the name of the map. And it is, it is, it's probably the biggest map I've seen so far. And it's the only one yeah. I've encountered, like, uh, what is it, like detection errors on the uh, hit detection. Or the map geometry. I'm hoping to top this at some point with Goncago, but I probably won't, to be honest. I don't know how many hours this guy took if he just threw everything together and just didn't bother playtesting it, or... If he just actually took the time to just put this Honestly, all together. Honestly, this map probably took quite a while, because, I mean, you have to place each block individually. Yeah. like the tall towers and stuff, that's that's a lot of button presses. Even if it's, like, yeah. with no rhyme or reason, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to place. Up into this room, Bumping grab camera. my blue Zeppo ammo. Dang it, how did you avoid that, um... Doc, I don't know how you avoid that. Okay. okay, see you, man. See you, around, Doc. Thanks for joining. Peace, sir. Oh, you know what? I think I did see that door in the uh, the tile set. I just it doesn't look like a door because it's got really weird coloring on it. Yeah, I've noticed a couple of things like that. I don't know what the deal is. Do any of the other tile sets have doors or just the Bioshock one? Because that one also has the half tile with like the um, rotten wood I think, planks. I think just that one. But then again, then you have the pipes. Is pipes in the Bioshock set or in the Wolfenstein? Oh, the, all the way down. Is which one? The pipes, like the pipes you can jump on. Which Bioshock. set has uh, that's that? That's in the Bioshock setting. So yeah, it the Bioshock one, interestingly, has the most um, varied uh, environmental blocks. I think. Because it's got a door in it, it's got... um. Oh... Wow, someone actually managed to kill somebody with the, uh, the, the harpoon gun. This may be explained on the pitch page, but what weapons from what games do they intend to include in this? Every tile set, I believe, will have four weapons, and which ones they'll include, I don't know. But for the Bioshock set, it's a chainsaw, um, it's a harpoon gun, which is basically the, um, the, uh, what is it, the lightning arrows or whatever they were for, uh, the crossbow, um... 
you have the, um, what else did you have? You have the flamethrower. Well, it's more like an ice thrower, it's, and it's not very good either. Freeze yeah. thrower. I can't wait to see that gold night tile set they're currently working on. There's a, um... Really? Yeah, apparently, but oh, there's also a um, Tommy gun, and then there's four quake weapons. There's the shotgun, the uh, rocket launcher, uh, rail like gun, and BFG. Twenty-five dollars just for that. <laughs> I'm reminded of this really neat Quake Three mod known as Generations, where you could, ha where you could basically play as uh, oh, the yeah. class from Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake One, Quake Two, or Quake Three, and have the appropriate weapon set for each. Yeah, that was a pretty yeah. good mod. I don't know what ever happened to it. I think development just stopped and Quake Three kind of well, died. So. Well, I know the I know the original generations got cease and desisted by I don't think it was ID. I think it was like GT Interactive or whoever owned the distribution rights at the time. Yeah. Or no, no, it was ID, but it was only because they were using uh, they were actually using the original Quake One models. They were yeah. using bolt. They were using textures and resources from all of the um, it games in question. Well, no, because most of the most of the other stuff, like the Doom and the Wolfenstein stuff, they did from scratch. But the Quake One stuff, they they literally just ripped from from Quake One, and converted it to Quake Two format. And ID told them, you know, we love this mod. Right, I'm we back. Don't want to see you guys distributing copyrighted material, and they refused to budge on that one thing. So they they ended up shutting down. Um, another group picked it up though, and started another mod uh, called Sog. Yeah, which, some old games. Yeah, some old games, or uh, some people called it Son of Generations, <laughs> and they actually did redo oh. one models and stuff. I actually liked their hey, better. Wait a second. That wasn't what? Whoa! I think oh. this map is starting to glitch out. There's some weird stuff going on in here. Yeah, want me to bring up the uh, gun cargo prototype? Uh, in a moment, yes. Okay. I kind of, I kind of get oh, the crap, feeling though, that, uh, um, what's the name Let's of it? See if we can run this on my laptop. I don't think kind it should be too. Damn, it's tough. a Unity game, so okay, it's, it's scalable. Whoa! It just got really quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, the static in the background uh, popped up. Uh, was that Argent or? There's not a uh -oh. Testing, test. Hang on. The Hang call, up. the call's working. I can hear you guys. Yeah, the gang's here. It's just, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I what was it? Was that, was that dropped out? Oh, well, whatever. No biggie. Uh, well, as usual, I know nothing. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Ah. That must have been Argent that dropped out because he's not talking right Probably. now. Probably. I wonder if yeah, his computer crashed or something. Damn fine cherry pie. Well, uh, Skype is showing him as being in still, so... Mm-hmm. Maybe he had to mute his mic. That could be, uh... Oh, oh yeah, right. Um, oh, whoa. Fell through the map again. Awesome. Damn good coffee, too. Oh, no, I felt I died again. What kind of ping time are you... Or wait, duh, this is your server, you shouldn't be getting any ping. Uh, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, though, but I'm getting 88 ping, which actually is pretty decent, I suppose, with this many players yeah. from all over the world. Yeah, that's really weird, because mine's showing, like, up over, just barely over 100, and I have not had any problems with the level geometry. It's mostly with the bouncy pads, I've noticed. Yeah, it's the bouncy pads. Oh man! <laughs> you were right behind me, I was getting too. stuck in shit, too. <laughs> Should I be swearing, or...? And I'm back. You can swear, I, I mean, we don't have to censor yeah, these when we upload them to YouTube, no one cares, so... All right. Yeah, watch your fucking mouth, God, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, are we allowed to say fuck in this game? Uh, Those were all dummy doubt, weren't they? And that's how people found out when the source code finally hit. Yeah. Wait, now, jizz in your cis holes. <laughs> That sounds so gross. And I'm pretty sure those were all John Romero. Yeah, humor. that was all John Romero. You can just tell. That's totally his kind of humor. He, he's one of I, my favorite. Uh, uh, he's one of my favorite trolls in game development. I, he he was one of the first too. I don't know if I would call him a troll exactly. I think he was just like, just kind of a wild child, so to speak. Nutty. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think he's a jerk. He's just a really eccentric person. 
Um, you know, I I really wish though that he would do something else now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was kind of the soul of it in a lot of ways, because you notice their games got a little bit more cut and dry once he as soon as he left. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, 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 wait, wait. What games? <laughs> okay, I'm just being a dick now. There, well, there was Quake 2. There was Quake 3, which this game is heavily inspired by. Uh, there was Doom uh, 3. There was you know, all the games they licensed or properties they licensed to other companies to use. Was the last, was the last big thing they did Rage? Yeah, that was Actually, it. Yeah. That is that is literally the last PC game that that it has released. For better or worse, say eh? how long ago was that? I can't even remember. Uh, twenty was it? It was twenty years ago. Well, no, it was it twenty thirteen or twenty twelve? I forget. I think it was twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to say twenty twelve because they just came out with the that big DLC pack or whatever last year. Yeah. Oh God, I killed two people with this. Awesome. I don't have to get up in just a moment, though, because I heard my dog banging her food dish around, so that's never a good sign. Oh, jeez. Never, ever a good sign, because that that's, that probably means she's going to drink it out in the yard, and it's going to be like, hey, do I, why haven't I been fed in a while? Oh, wow, I'm stuck in the map geometry. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm stuck under the... Ge oh, there we go. I finally made my way out of there. I need to move my PC out here or something. I hope all of this gets recorded so I can upload this to YouTube. I would be very bad if I lost yeah. the stream for this. And we're almost done downloading. Yeah, this is actually really small for what it is. I'm actually really shocked. Because mm. there's similar retro-looking games that are like 200 or 300 megs for some reason. Yeah, yeah we're not going to go there, Minecraft. <laughs> I'm wondering what other potential games uh, this can borrow weapons from. Well, TF2 I... is going to be one. There's a TF2 tile set. There's one for Portal, Excellent. but I don't know if that's going to actually have any weapons huh. to go with it. Maybe the turrets? One of the developers mentioned uh, some Gold Nine Perfect Dark stuff. Oh, mm. They said Portal, specifically. Yeah. Yep. Uh, they, there's Turok as well, but I'm not sure what they're taking from there besides the dinosaurs. Like they, They're going to have enemies at some point in single player, like... I demand the cerebral uh, scripting and whatnot. Yeah, the cerebral drawer would be awesome. Yes. <laughs> Can everybody play as a dinosaur? Favorite gooey head explodey thingy. No, <laughs> you probably can't play as the dinosaur. There's only been a small handful of games that let you do that, and most of them weren't good. Most. I wouldn't of them. be surprised if that was a game mode of some sort, like a Juggernaut style thing. Yeah, that would be actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, like the uh, versus Saxton Hale mod. Hey, Snarbers, there was <laughs> that. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Hmm? What game was that? Uh, carnivores? That oh. had dinosaurs in it, where you could actually like go hunt dinosaurs? That game surprisingly wasn't bad. Well, I meant play as the dinosaurs, not hunt them. Oh, as also, the... Nazis versus dinosaurs, I think. But I think they had guns, the yeah. dinosaurs. Yeah, they did. Except, yeah, even the Tyrannosaurus Rex had guns for some reason. You're under Little tiny pistols. Animus. That wasn't what? particularly great, though, I will say. Too big. I forget my love. Great screen. idea, what? just horribly, horribly flawed execution. You know what, Michaela? I just back here so I can kill you with my chainsaw. Aw. I'm just going to hold down the button and see if I can run into people. And it doesn't go any smaller. Shit. <laughs> oh, is it? It's just taking up the whole window? Or the whole uh, screen on your laptop? Yeah. Shit, that's weird. Because there's only 1280 by 720, 1360 by 768, and... Oh, it doesn't go any smaller than 1280 by 720? No. <laughs> what is your resolution? It's one of those odd ones, I take it. Yeah, let me check. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Screen resolution. Because I think... I'm trying to remember what Weasel's netbook goes up. No, it's 1366 by 768. Oh. That's okay. standard, actually. That's what my laptop wants up. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to run it, then. It'll just take up the entire uh, screen, pretty much. Oh yeah, but it was going under the uh, fucking bar. Oh, oh I get, I, I got gotcha. Fix that. There we go. As a side note, I really wish that 1024 by 768's widescreen cousin wasn't the best resolution you could get on a mid-range laptop. Oh, 1360 by 768. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's 2013, not 2005. Come on, guys. You know, I'll be honest with you, I I have an HD res monitor, and I still run most of my games at that res, just because I get better frame rate that way. 
Yeah. Yeah, I just run everything 1600 by 900 windowed, and I insist. Wait, on how far running. is that? Was that um, that harpoon cable running? You lose. You lose. No idea. Okay, so I will be right back. I didn't okay. even see it, so. And then um, just set up the server, um, Arjun, or just let everybody know. Put a password on it if you don't want anybody to join, but I leave that up to you, obviously, since it's your <laughs> server, so. Craft, gun cargo just version 2.10, edit level. Of course, you know, as soon as he says what the password is, everybody watching the stream is going to hear the password. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that'll what? be a good way of limiting things. And the password is just GC9X. And should I just call it Mr. Argent makes a map or GC9X makes a map? Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see if this works. It's Ooh. a test, and you've already failed, Argent. There we go. And uh, once again, the password is GC9X for anyone who wants in. This is this is what happens, Argent. This is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. Yeah. <sighs> I know, right? This is what happens when you find Mr. Falcon in the Alps. <laughs> Mr. Falcon! I am such a oh, this is a big map. Yeah. I'm gonna try to make it bigger. Um, I'm still working on it, though, and, uh... Basically, what I'm trying to do here is some kind of some kind of weird floating city theme, I guess you could call it. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, honestly. Sounds cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, right. the infamous turd building. <laughs> It's actually supposed to be called the Zdoya building after the building oh. from the SNK game, the Super Spy, but I couldn't really fit Mag. it. Yeah. Mag. Oh. My suggestion would be putting in a, a bunch of boost jumps that are the propelled yeah. boosts that go in all around, so it's a lot easier to get from one section to another. Yeah, that might be worth working Yes, Michaela, it actually has turd written on it. it that was my doing. I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> It did it right in front of you. <laughs> okay, this looks like it says Tord. Tord. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, there's wah. an O in there. <laughs> you turned it into the Tord building. Oh, well, I did my best I could by turning it into a U, but you can't really make a U when you don't have more than, like, three spaces. Here, I can fix it. Because <laughs> that, that'd be the only letter we would need to fix. Yeah, we don't yeah. need the period. You can just move it out of the way. Anyway, uh, the only real th overarching theme I'm trying to go here, so beyond the whole Sayscape theme, is just kind of having a deathmatch battle. Like, try to work in different shit that I think works well, and then... Oh, there. <laughs> it well, honestly, up pretending I have a uh, cohesion... Uh, uh, cohesion? Why does it say cohesion? What does that mean? Cohes anyway, pretending that I have a coherent plan here would be a thorough lie, because I do not actually, in spite of how much I'm talking about it. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of... You have to kind of think about uh, if you have the railgun yeah. on this, it's going to be really strong on this map because it's so wide open. Depending yeah. on, like, if you put a bunch of buildings around them, that's going to mitigate it some, but... Yeah, yeah I'm planning on expanding this a lot still. Have you seen the basement area yet? Uh, no, I have Oh, you see that big hole in the ground in the park and that little hole yeah. by the entrance to the building? That'll take you up beneath yeah. the map, actually. Mm -hmm. And that kind of brings you somewhere where it's a bit closer quarters. Yeah, my... I'm personally not a fan. I mean, it's a different style of play, but I, I kind of dislike not being able to jump because, obviously, I like yeah. to jump a lot. So that that makes it, I guess, slower pace, and it's a little bit less uh, frantic. So usually I do like a two tile high, but that's that's just a different style of play. So just my keep that in mind with the weapons you have in there. Things a bit more enjoyable. I'm still so like, doing a lot of reworking here, and not to mention making the change to be simple enough. Hmm. Yeah, it's like weapons such as like the uh, the trap gun that becomes yeah. really effective in the one tile high space because you can't jump it or avoid it. You have to go yeah. in the opposite direction pretty much. So just stuff to keep in mind when you're making maps. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so FYI, Argent, if you need to move any of these light sources that I'm putting down here, feel free. Okay. I'm just, I'm just basically populating the level with them right now, so. Yeah. I still need to put down some good spawns. I should probably get some preliminary ones down at the very least. It's running a little better now, but not it's much. Lungs here, all things considered. Definitely time to get a new laptop. You having problems, Michaela? I didn't yeah. even know what you said, so that works. This is for me. not playable. I will I be put the most important spawn in the U. <laughs> Putting the U into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so that'd be uh, part of Project Toa, right? Turd on a wire. <laughs> Toa plan. They had like turd like uh, mascots, didn't they? The, uh, oh, the uh, that's not the offensive button. raisin. <laughs> 
Yeah, the blackface reasons. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, the Toa Plans mascots. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that dancing whatever the hell it is. You get, oh my god. You I get, thought you were talking about the California raisins briefly. Wait, wait, I just came into a discussion about the California raisins. You <laughs> <laughs> were talking about the Toa Plan guys, their mascot. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, isn't that an eggplant, though? I think it's is actually it? supposed to be an eggplant. It looks more like a raisin, though. Oh, wow, well, that's the be best password. GC9X. Okay, there we go. I wanted something that wasn't... Or I wanted something people who wanted to get in were able to... knew the context would easily be able to do, do but... Um, wow, I can't move forward or backwards for some reason. I can move up and down, though. That's odd. Oh, How long no. are we going to be streaming? I can't move forward or backwards. I can yeah. rotate and... Um, I'm going to quit real quick oh. and then I'll rejoin. Just quit. Don't save. I, I imagine as long as people are hanging around. Yeah. Just asking if it's going to get some uh, chow and come back, probably. I will actually probably stop streaming here in just a while, because I do have to record the podcast for this month. Oh, and I oh, still yeah, can't move. Right. Oh, that's right. Podcast. Podcast. Yes, right. yes. I can't move for some reason. I this mean... is very weird. Let me make sure that... Let me actually quit and restart the game. See if that helps. I wonder if... Or wait, then. actually, hmm. Let me try something here. Let me try... I wonder if Xerxes would want me to show off any Fallout 2, although I really like the game, but it's not the most exciting to demonstrate openly, I yeah. have to admit. So, it's weird. most of it works, you'll but... play. Maybe the visual component will be optional this time. Uh, you have the chosen. You can use E to go up and C to go down. You don't need to make the... Uh... Is he actually in the Everybody's... call or is he watching the stream? I don't think. He's, he's uh, in the call as well. Oh, is he? I'm huh. here. Oh, hey. I've just been flying for the whole time. Is this coming through? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, you're, you're a little quiet, though. All right. Uh, that's what they all meant. I think it's uh, better. For that, since it doesn't run well at all. And again, this thing uh, is constantly running at friggin' 100% usage. Yeah, next goes to Chicago. Gun cargo. Gun cargo. I like I said, I still need to make a map for this called House of a Thousand Shotguns, and it's like every free tile that isn't like a jump pad or something is just filled with shotguns. God. And now isn't I can't that... move up or oh, there I go. I can fly now. Wait, wait, what were you gonna say, Satanga? Just a stupid thing. Like, isn't that like eighty percent of all Doom mods that they're just all shotguns? Oh yeah, sometimes. And I'm stereotyping, but. uh... Let's see, where is the Bioshock? Every single shotgun. The Bathyscape. I love that so much. Guns. Gunsly. I'm wondering if or they added some new tiles to this, because some of these I don't I don't remember seeing before. Hmm. They just added... Um, it took us to figure out Portal. <laughs> they added TF2 stuff, I think, um, with the last patch. Ah. I, I think nine new terrains for it. Yeah, say more. I kind of wish there was a better road texture, but for now this will do, I think. Let the player get on top of this. Need to make a big old parking garage or something for this map. Yeah. You get lost really easily. It's like 10,000 floors or something. Still, it seems to be off to a decent enough start, even if there's still plenty of room for improvement, even in the areas that are technically finished, when really nothing is finished here. Can't wait till we get those Smarty Labs textures. <laughs> <laughs> Treliate escape. <laughs> oh, God. That would be great. And... And the one with Galupo. <laughs> Galupo food hack. No! This guy's got all the right moves! <laughs> <sighs> all the right moves. And some of the wrong ones, too. Yep. Like his face? <laughs> oh. There should be some weapons imported from obscure Eastern <laughs> European first person shooters. Nobody knows. Exploding about. lips. I don't think that, I don't know if Exploding Lips was European or not. I couldn't tell you. What um, I can tell you is that it's terrible. I thought that combustible was combustible faces. 
I thought that was a Russian shooter. Uh, exploding lips? No, I thought it was German or something. Maybe I don't know. I don't remember. Crisis pack. Just really it high. More risk. German than you. Oh no. <laughs> more German. No. Well, technically, most everybody is more German than me. But... Mm -hmm. My Scottish friend is more German than me. <laughs> That's pretty bad. She lives in Scotland. <laughs> oh, she lives in er, Germany now, so. Make this randomly go to a Quake texture set for no reason. I would say to drop from no more whoppers, but it's kind of racist out of context. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's probably not a good idea then for the stream. Oh, it's it's it, it's from the Godfather, for the record. Still, so. yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, Your I first child, I, I a masculine child. But no more whoppers is an awesome podcast. So I'll plug that uh, for the record. You plugger. Uh, I feel pluggy at the mo. Just plug in away. I will plug, plug anything I want to, Make wherever I want to, however I want to, on whatever I want to. It will be plugged. What's worse? Wait, what's worse? Plug man or pump man? Uh, his I, twin, their twin, long lost brothers, uh, pump and uh, uh, plug man. Anal plug man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's exactly. Yeah. What then you uh -huh. have covering, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's, I'm going to have to bleep those out. Nah, we could probably just leave it in oh, there. Oh, 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 wait. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I um, uh, just uh, lost. No, uh, it's my fault. I went uh, there. Amazing. Somebody was going to. I'm a loose cannon. You are, you, you're a loose cannon. Well, who, who, who started the... Who started the whole thing yesterday when I was trying to stream Thief? Snarboo. <laughs> that was me, actually, yes. <laughs> well, what? I just <laughs> fell through the ground again. Mostly just no, because that whole the whole there. idea of that, like, of that being in the new Thief game, like, is like, really? <laughs> it cracked me up real bad. It still does, actually. A certain piece of jewelry in this case. Yes. Yeah. Okay, just, just, just a second. At least it's not have... Afterburners again. <laughs> We can't go into that, not on this stream. You can find yeah. out what that is on your own time. Well, for the record, <laughs> every, game game. For the record every GC9X stream uh, does its best to stay family friendly, but um, usually our minds are in the gutter off camera, and occasionally it just seeps into our uh, present work, so just uh, bear with us for some of our more... Right, you uh, don't know kids are listening to us. <laughs> Like yeah, it's probably just it's probably people that are exactly like us. They're in our target audience, so. Well, it's still just the be decree... glad that we're not uh, school kid teachers. It's, you know. it's still the decree of Xerxes that we still shouldn't be too uh, crass and vulgar. That's true. Yeah. We look like a bunch of douche uh, Yeah, douchebags. You can say douchebag. Okay. Um, even if used in the proper medical context. Or is that grosser? I, uh, does, sterile, does it really sterile. matter? You're making this worse by overthinking it, man. I'm just yeah. saying. Okay. Okay, okay. Douchebag. The word douchebag uh, came uh, way uh, before uh, the douche. So. You... What's worse, Mary Jane's or circus peanuts? Uh, circus peanuts by a country yeah. mile. Does anyone like those yeah, freaking circus peanuts? That's a freaking gross. Wait, are we talking uh, about the like, gross ass orangey marshmallow things? Yes, those are circus peanuts. Hey, I, just, I, I love those. Those are gross, I've dude. You've got problems. Those. <laughs> problems like that can't be solved through normal means. Well, yeah, I could have told you that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I understand. I understand. This peanut butter and marshmallows is like the best thing ever, and I'm surprised no one's ever really. <laughs> that is a thing, though. It's like a fluffer nutter sandwich. Well, yeah, yeah, but like just straight up peanut butter flavored marshmallows. I'm sorry, but I can never. I've never been able to call them fluffer nutters with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> is that because uh, it brings uh, certain things to mind? Um... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do it this time. No, you yeah. didn't, so yeah. don't worry. About entering the sun. Hey, I, I, and I just fell through the geometry. <laughs> I think this is a sign that the map's getting close to big enough. Fried Elvis sandwich. Peanut Isn't butter like and banana and peanut butter? Yeah, the fried peanut plane. butter and <laughs> banana sandwich. I'm looking at their top tower. Bronco trolleys. Hmm. Yeah, just what make this randomly probably. become a Quake style map for no apparent reason. I don't remember, Michaela. 
Yeah, honestly, I kind of want Gunk Hogger to be a little bit of everything, so that's actually really good. Oh, no. You still gotta add the parking garage. <laughs> I want it to kind of be the gorf of unnecessarily large city maps. <laughs> gorf. <laughs> that was a Oh, now, now we need space invaders and it shitty, also very uh, crazy. shitty Gyrus or whatever that other game that Gyrus was kind of based off of. Uh, Tempest? Yes. Wait, which one came first, though? Tempest did, I think. Yeah, 1980, and Gyrus is 1982 or 3, I believe. I prefer Gyrus, though. Hmm. I really like Gyrus, but I, I admit, I, I'm a little I, bit of a old-school nerd for the vector, vector style. Yeah, you were about to I say the like Vectrex, the vector weren't style. you? I, yeah, it, it, it almost went there. I had a Vectrex I, growing up, and it was the best thing ever. I you seriously had a Vectrex? Wow. I'm, I'm my my uncle also. actually had a Vectrex, and I thought it was pretty neat. Did you have to wear sunglasses had... when using that? I have to wonder. No. My cousin's a virtual no. boy. Which, um... Back, back then, I didn't know about the side effects. Oh. Why would... For those of you living in Oregon, effects? I want you yeah, to find it, my cousin... Yeah, it can hurt your eyes, like, like really badly. Mail it to me. Oh, I didn't know that. Now I'm you do. No dollars that would this. explain a lot about why I can't see too well. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Because uh, your brother doesn't wear glasses, does he? Not anymore. Ah. He did when we were kids, but. Why doesn't he wear them anymore? Any specific reason? Or? Uh, apparently he doesn't need them anymore. I don't know. I kind of wish I said gold nice style fake walls. So I could add secret areas. Well, now that I know there's a door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to talk about, so on what Argent said, who's your favorite Bond? <laughs> My favorite Mon? Connery. My, I didn't quite hear that, sorry, Ed. Uh, your, your favorite Bond actor. Oh, my favorite Bond? Well... Honestly, I feel like they're all pretty decent in different ways, but honestly, I feel like Lazenby didn't really deserve the crap he got. That's why I hear, I hear that Honor Her Majesty's Secret Service yeah. was it's probably great, but I think it's one of the few I've never seen. It's like me and my brother went through a massive uh, bond bender, a ponder, if you will, um, like uh, back in high school, and we saw most of the films, but I barely remember anything from them. I think it'd be time to catch up. Yeah. Honor Magic's like Secret Service is actually uh, one of my all-time favorites, honestly. Yeah, I, I hear it's uh, one, one of the straightest and most thrilling films, and one of the most serious, one of the ones about the least uh, cheats in it, like the antithesis of everything that I, Moore was in. From what I, I feel like, that I should point kind of out, though, um, it does have references to previous Bond movies in it, though. Yeah, it does like, have plenty of humor and all the stuff that gives the, that side of the series character, but at the same time, it still meshes it pretty seamlessly with the more serious parts, too. Yeah. Like, it's fun to watch, yet it still tells a good story. You know? Hmm. Yeah, what what he said. I feel as if I should just have a Bond-a-thon at some point and catch up in every... Hmm. Hmm. No, well, someone yeah. would be up for streaming them. I'd be on board for that. Max, did you... I got all of them. Look at me. Well, our is probably going to take a while since I am, like, a lot more busy nowadays than I were. But, yeah, if we can do that bit by bit, maybe we can work something out. Did you hear yeah, that, too, Michaela? I've got a copy of Moonraker that somehow resists copy files. Like, it just refuses to be copy or pasted to anything. Yeah. And, oh, God, Tarzu's coming. <laughs> It sounded like he barked. Did I sound like I farted? <laughs> no, my cat. I I heard him make a noise. Uh oh. And I'm like, wait a minute, and because it, it didn't sound right, I couldn't figure out what what was weird about it, and I realized that the sound that he made is normally what you would hear a small dog make. Oh, Long Johnson. Oh, Long John. Huh? You ever see that video? Uh, I think you mean like of a singing dog or something to that sort? It was a cat. Oh, no, it was God. a the talking cat. <laughs> I vaguely remember this, yes. 
the one with Don Piano. Uh, I remember the blues cat who would go meow after a harmonica pitch. Yeah. I don't think he did, Zoe. It just sounded like he did. You know, I gotta ask, how long have you guys spent messing around with the level editor? Me, personally, not that much. I've been playing with it since, like, uh, last night. This is actually the first serious effort at man making I made. Uh, do you still have the uh, other man? Oh, wait, no, we lost that one. Because I started messing with it this morning around... 9 ish, and next thing I knew, it was 5 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm too easily distracted to spend that kind of time on a level editor. Yeah. <laughs> Probably why I never learned how to map and, you know, how. You know, normally I am too, but. <laughs> mm hmm. I don't know, I guess I like building crap. <laughs> Can we just hear this song? Look at all huh? those pentagrams. You didn't just play this song. Because I swear that I just heard this song. What is that portal thingy? <laughs> so I'm just going to say something really quickly. Uh, the YM2203 version of Terra Cresta, all the background music in it sounds like farting. <laughs> Like, I, I'm not making that, like, <laughs> this sounds more like a PSG game than a YM2203 game. <laughs> I hate I it means, when like, you do that. Step your FM game up, Nichibutsu. And then they, then they didn't, because they just stuck to the 3526 for all the later releases. Until they faded away in obscurity, making Mahjong game nobody cares about. Aww. And Terror Crest 3. Mahjong. Urjong. And that makes me sad. Nichibutu really were a funny company. Like, usually their stuff is just mediocre, but then occasionally they make something that just really stands out, like a Terra Crust or Yoko Robo Dangar. Hmm. Oh, to answer your question earlier, um. Doc, I've been messing with this for a few hours. I might have already said that. I, I've done Doom mapping before and a little Quake mapping, so I, right. I have that under my belt. Yeah, I didn't realize um, when I found the thread that you that you wanted me to post that, that notification. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that, that these guys are friends of Kennedy. Yeah, he's, he even said as much. Well, I didn't see the thread before. Nah, okay. I, I generally don't hang around on on Zedium forums unless there's something specific I'm looking for. Yeah, I gotcha. I just, I, I don't really feel like I fit in there because I'm, I'm not a programmer guy at all, at all, so. Well, a lot of people on there aren't programmers. Well, I just mean, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I only lurk to grab mods that seem promising. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I do on there. Yay. Hooray for lurkers. Where does Bond? Um, trying to think of uh, what, what if there have been any interesting uh, enterprising Doom mods as of late. Uh, only one that comes to mind is the Guncaster weapon mod for Heretic. And it's already been ported to Doom, so Heretic can't even have its own weapon mod for that long before someone's just like, eh, I'm just going to put it in Doom. Really? Yeah. That makes me laugh. And it was, um, I forget who did it. That kind of takes the piss out of it. A little, but yeah, you know, whatever. It's it's still a cool set, I mean, don't get me wrong, but... You know, Heretic needs more stuff for it. It's it's it's, it's underrated. Honestly, I think if you're going to do a weapon mod like, um... Like... Well, I forget the name of it now. Crap. You know, I just thought of something. Has anyone made a source port that can work with uh, Catacomb 3D stuff? <laughs> that uses a very weird variant of the, um, whatchamacallit ending, I think. Or ending, Wolfenstein? not engine. Yeah, if I recall. Yeah. Well, I would like to see stuff done with it, if not just for primitive reasons. And, but... uh, 
Wolfenstein was really supposed to be a 16 color game, wasn't it? It has support for EGA, yes, apparently, but it was d dummied uh, out, or there was going to be support, but they removed it because it would mean duplicating the resources or something? I forget. Uh, something I still think is really funny is that Wolfenstein 3D runs fine on a 286, but a lot of arcade ports from the same from slightly before the same period all ran like ass and looked nothing like they should. Yeah, it happens. It, it happens like way more than it should. <laughs> Why, Michaela? I mean, I'm guessing if your system can handle Wolfenstein 3D, it could probably handle a space area port. <sighs> a space area port that doesn't run like ass. Ass area. I mean, with all due respect, with all due respect, the PC port of space area didn't look bad, but it ran terribly. And it had only PC speaker sound at a point where sound cards were available. So yeah, you know, I'm going to try and finish up what I'm doing in this map and then uh, close out the stream, because I do have to record the podcast, so... Yeah. That just makes me think of the old DOS version of um, Mega Man. Oh, God! Anyone want me to set this to test mode really quickly before we wrap up for the night? Uh, not quite. I am almost done. Hold on. Right. Mega Man looks like he's made of dirt butter in that game. <laughs> yeah, That's I am the K butter movies. monster and I am with two K-Monies. E communism. You know, do you know what the saddest part is? That was actually a game that me and Corwin bought. What? Oh, Mega Man the... for DOS. Oh, uh, I feel sorry for you. I'd buy wow. Mega Man DOS. Like we actually, we actually found it in the store. This was a, this was a brand new copy, and we were like, I think I was like five years old, and he was three. We found this in the store and said, Oh my God, this looks so cool. We have to buy this. And then it wasn't. Don't tell me that was the first Mega Man game you played before any of the actual Mega Man games. No, because the only the only reason we bought that one is because we had rented. I want to say we rented two, on the uh. NES, and decided that we really liked that one. Okay. Okay. I mean, well, here that's... we have a system that's vastly more powerful than the NES, but then these. Well, that's understandable. Don't that. <laughs> you were fooled and blinded. Blinded well, yeah, considering the, the screenshots look way better than the actual game did. <laughs> well, those like those screenshots they do sometimes where it's like um, not indicative of blah blah blah, or just from a completely different version of the game. Yes. You know, I'm not even sure now. I'd have to see if I could find a copy of the box. It may just be because they were so small. Yeah. That's true. You just couldn't really tell, and it was like yeah. They did that for a lot of NES games, didn't they? they? Just had like the small screenshots and it made it look better than it was. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's see what these modern like stars are just like two on blue and cyan. Oh my goodness, that that's some pretty bad CG work. <laughs> Why was it sinking into his arms? Oh God, was this the one? I can't remember if the one we had was three or. Not. Hang on a second. I'm gonna go on Moby. Game. Okay, oh, I'm God, ready for test game. mode. I I have done God, enough to this face. map. Okay. <laughs> you know, I think I know who you, whose face you need to combine that with, Doc. Oh <laughs> no. Test. Doc. You know what? You're right. I probably do. If you don't, I will make you play. I, I will make you play. I will make you play on which our edition again. <sighs> I broke Doc. You'll have to explain something. Every okay, so do you remember? Admittedly, Sonic Adventure wasn't quite this bad, but you know how some games, whenever you whenever you pick up an item, it explains the item to you every single time. Oh, this uh, is a bomb hack that that has it, it has a little Omo Chow following you around, and and congratulates you every time you accomplish something. Except that includes every time you pick up a ring. <laughs> every time you kill something. Every time you kill something. Say so only oh. some of this map is quite themed. It quickly disappears be and becomes something else. This, well, this is this the only is area that actually has weapons. Up. I need to put spawns in here too. Yeah. This is actually the one. 
You're bringing back my PTSD of having non flashbacks. I only played that game for 10 minutes. You played it for 10 minutes? Why would you subject yourself to that? I ruined Duck Hunt. The other side of the rainbow. That's the wrong yeah, you game, dude. You can show me dude. the most vile thing on the internet, like, bring up Oma Chow and... <sighs> I'm wondering if seeing Sonic Boom would be an antidote, or if it would only exacerbate the problem. Yes. I'm not too interested Sonic, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, oh, no. Sonic Boom. Yeah, I died. The only Sonic Booms I want to hear are coming out of some guy who looks like an XCOM reject. The same <laughs> like an odd future song. Hey, he well, came so. before XCOM, didn't he? Or same... Actually, when did XCOM come out? Was that 1992, 3? Yeah, let me check. Uh, Street Fighter Ow. 2 is 1991, so... Yeah. Although, technically, there was the Nem- or what was it, Laser Mission or whatever it was? That came out before, yeah. I think. Laserian? 1994, actually. Nah. But did they have the Guile hair? That's the question. No, they didn't. No, yeah, I used to could say that Flat Top from Dick Tracy has them all beat. Well... So yes, I think this is a good point to stop the stream. So I'm just going to say this. This game is pretty cool. As you can see, you yep. can make some pretty awesome maps. It's a lot of fun to play, and it's only a pre-alpha. So, nope. And if you like what you see, you should probably fund these guys, like like right now. Like, give them all your money. Just open up your bank yeah. account. Just yeah. say, I'm going to give them all my entire life savings to make this awesome no game. Way. This game needs to be better. <laughs> and it can only be better with your DOS. Exactly. I've been a little spendy lately, but that's the least I could do, I figure, because this does actually look pretty raw. So I have a quick question for you guys. Uh, I have a early 90s bag phone I'm considering getting, or I could donate to this game. Uh, what should I do? Uh, you, you should clearly donate, donate to this game. And yeah. if you don't donate to this game, you will drop dead tomorrow. Donate for, to this game twice so I can I'll, have Also, it be sure to link world. this message to everybody on your friends list, or... They'll die too, somehow? <laughs> yeah. Like like some old lady will just come and sit on your chest at night and just, See, I don't know, I was thinking you. that the game's developer teams would come out of the TV and just start hitting you with random objects until you die. <laughs> oh. The okay, old lady so. from the Goonies will just wink at you over and over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> I am so lost right now. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for uh, the stream. So uh, if you like what you see, just click on the links that we're probably going to put on the YouTube video. If I forget to do that, then um, just type Gunscape into Google. Otherwise, this has been um, the an impromptu GC9X stream. So enjoy. Yeah. And Hi, everybody. I actually so have to open the control bar to manu manually. Peace out.